like what happens like see when the choreography works because i'm sure <laughs> yeah because i'm future I'm, future pace let's future pace <laughs> yeah what yeah. happens what is the beautiful thing that happens because I, i want people listening right like there there is a big plus of you know creating your marketing choreography right, right. uh what happens yeah man uh <laughs> one you it, obviously it's different for everyone and what's happening because the plan is going to be different for everyone um and the goal is going to be different um but i think the the most important thing that comes out of it is that you have a uh, a solid understanding of whether someone likes what you're doing or they don't like what you're doing because i think that a lot of times people will go okay i'm going to post this thing on facebook and that's how i'm going to test this and i'm like Are you crazy? Like you have no idea whether that thing worked or whether it didn't work or whether your product is good or whether it's bad or whether the marketing was good or bad. You have no idea. And so I think that or, or, or this one, this is one of my favorites. I'm going to post twice a week and I'm going to sell $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah. that's crazy. That's, that's <laughs> never going to happen. And so um, I think the best thing that's going to happen is you're going to understand where you're at and what to do next. Um, and the best thing that could happen is you you come out with, with tons of money and you reach exactly what you wanted. Um, but at the very, very least, uh, if all this did, right, if we, if we take uh, the perfect webinar script, right, if all this did, it's going to get somebody to the point where they really understand what's happening and what they should be doing next. So that's mm -hmm. such a valuable thing to know, right? Like, I, I cannot explain how many times we felt lost, like, in, in our business, right? Like, we're moving forward. And, and uh, like Fonsi has shared in the last few episodes and events that we've been at, is like, I, like Tom Bilio says, like, I'd rather be running a thousand miles in one direction, right? Uh, in the wrong direction. In the wrong direction than just, like, staying still. I, kinda, I definitely butchered that quote, but... Uh, yes, you did. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> you got the idea. Okay, perfect. But at the same time, it's like, I, I love that you preach execution, right? Like, this is yeah. the plan. Right. This is perfect. The, the top of the mountain. This is the yeah. we're dreaming together. Let's bring it yeah. down. What are the resources? What's the capacity that we have to execute today? Yeah. Let's execute. Let's look at data. Right. Let's make decisions based on that and then continue to move forward. Right. Right. Uh, I love it. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Right. Because before you mentioned about kind of like looking at yourself and looking at the resources. Right. And I think the conversation landed again over there. And why? I'm curious because when you say this, yeah. I'm thinking of people need to be proactive, right? They need to, okay, let me take inventory, make inventory of what we have. Now, yeah. let me take action. But most people are not like that. Most people are either taking action without making an inventory. So yeah. they're just taking action without an actual clue of where they're going. Or they are very reactive, right? Like, oh, I learned about a funnel. Let me make you know, the lead magnet or oh, look at this other thing that is working for other person. Uh, yeah. Let me uh, buy it and then they'll do it for me. But guess what? It's not a done for you service. It's uh, you learn it and you have to do it. <laughs> a lot of people are like very reactive. Uh, right. And I'm curious why. Why do you think that that people are that way? Um, well, one, I don't, I don't necessarily think that that's a negative thing to, to be reactive. Um, I think that it's actually a great skill to go. I see this. I'm going to go do it. I, I think I think that's a great skill. Um, and so I guess for me, like I don't I don't necessarily see it as as this negative thing. I think it's just about learning how to to utilize that um, as an asset and yeah. go, okay, this is how you are. Okay, great. Let's use that in how we're going to choreograph what you're doing. Um, and so I guess uh, Rather than going, why do I think people are that way? I go, okay, they're that way. Now let's let's use it as as an asset in mm. what you're doing. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of how I look at it.